Let's look at how to align objects in Adobe Illustrator, whether you're trying to line things up to your artboard, other objects, you're trying to distribute the spacing of them. We'll cover all that in the alignment panel here in Illustrator. Okay, so first thing, we need some objects. So I'm gonna create just some squares out here. We'll create one like that, and then I can duplicate them out if I'd like, just like so, so we have a couple. I'm gonna move a couple of these to the side for now. And we're just gonna look at this one square. Now, when you have an object selected, there's a bunch of properties in your properties panel, alignment panel is one of them. Although what I like to do is go ahead and go up to window down to align, that's shift F7, and it's gonna pull open the alignment panel. I drop down the more options in the show options setting here. And what I like to do is just keep this docked to the right side of all of my panels because I always like the alignment panel to be open. I use it all the time. So if we look at align two, what are we lining to? Are we lining to a selection? No, we only have one thing selected. So we're gonna align to our artboard and I can do a center align left, right, and then I can even top, bottom, and center on the vertical. So that's horizontal and vertical centering. So that's how you can line up your object to the artboard really quickly. Now, what if we have multiple objects in here? Well, if I bring another one of my squares over, the same thing happens when I have both selected. If I align to the artboard, I can do center, I can do left, right, and then of course these are gonna jump on top of each other if I do the vertical, so let's move them out. I can do the same thing though here. I can do vertical, top, bottom, whatever I want to center these things up. Now what if I want to center it up on itself, right? So what if I want to align one object to the other object? What we can do there is grab both and then click on the object we want to align to. That creates a key object. So whichever one has the darker outline now, everything else you have selected will align itself to that object based on whatever alignment button you click. So for instance, if we wanted to center this up on this object, now that we have it selected as a key object, and you can see that by looking at align to key object, we can just center up the horizontal uh, centering, I guess you should say. <laughs> Same thing with vertical, you know, we can select, click, make it a key object, do the vertical centering, just like that. Now, if this object was bigger, so we can scale this up, and let's say I wanted to center this to like the top line here, that's why I do a lot, I'll center objects so that they're lined up. Click on this bigger object, it's the key object. Take this one and center him to the top, just like that, or even the bottom. That's how you know these things are perfectly lined up. Now, what if I wanna distribute these objects across my artboard evenly, or even just dis distribute a group? If I have a bunch of different shapes and I wanna distribute them and make sure there's even spacing between. The first way I'd look at is having multiple shapes that are the exact same shape. So I can duplicate these out. I'm holding Option or Alt on PC. And you might notice that these are not at all spaced the same. So if I select all these, go to Align To, and I'm gonna align to the selection first. I'll show you that. You can distribute these objects both horizontally and vertically. So now if I click on this, it's gonna distribute the center points, which is a very key thing to remember. Distribute objects distributes on the center point of the object. So really this works best when all of your objects are the exact same. So the spacing between each of these center points is the exact same now, which in turn makes the spacing between each of the objects the same. But what happens when we insert an object that's different? Well, if we click this, go to that selection and say, I wanna to align to the selection and I wanna distribute these evenly. Look at that, the spacing between the objects visually is incorrect. It's not evenly distributed. The center points, they are evenly distributed. So how do we get this to work? Well, we want to distribute the spacing, not distribute the objects. So if I distribute the spacing horizontally, that's gonna say, I want the spacing between each object to be the exact same. Now, if I wanna do this to my artboard, all I have to do is switch from aligning to the selection to aligning to the artboard, can distribute spacing, and that's gonna space everything out across my artboard, one object to the other. If I delete an object and wanna distribute that spacing again, I can just do the same exact task. Same thing with adding objects. So I know I want to have 
four objects across here. I'm gonna skinny this one up a little bit so we actually have space. Uh, I wanna have five objects, I should say. No matter what, as long as they're lined up, it's gonna distribute the spacing between each, just like that, to the artboard. Now, what if I want to distribute an exact amount of spacing between each object? The only way to do that is to tell Illustrator where's your starting point, and you have to do that with a key object. So let's say I wanna distribute these squares exactly 10 pixels, or I'll show you also 100 pixels away from each other in between. I'm gonna grab this selection, click on the bigger square, the starting point, and say, I want these to distribute every 10 pixels horizontally. Do that, now there's 10 pixels in between each. I can then say 100 pixels, click the button, 100 pixels between each square. Can do the same thing vertically, we just didn't, but if we had moved all of these around, we can do the exact same thing. And things don't have to be lined up. So for instance, if I just select all of this, I can go here and say, you know what, vertical distribute the spacing. And it's gonna maybe tweak this so that they go in different directions. But if you wanted it to be like a stair step, the closer the object is to the next one is how it's gonna line it up. So if we bring this down close, the next one's gonna be here. We kind of do our stair step already. We can select it and then distribute. And it's gonna basically move the objects to the closest next point. Now this distrib distribution, because we're so tall on this guy, kind of throws it off. So what we can do is make him a little bit smaller. And I wanna distribute all of these and it's gonna do them in order just like it did a second ago, vertically and we have the same spacing between each. So I just wanted to show you that we can stair step objects. They don't have to be all lined up perfectly. It's just distributed, it's distributing them evenly spaced out from each other. Or if you select key object on that, you can distribute out by a certain increment of whatever your units are. Now I think that pretty much covers all of the different types of alignments that you can do. There's gonna be other situations and it's just whatever your project calls for. Are you trying to line something up to the top of the artboard? Then align it to the artboard. Is it another object? Select that object as a key object and line up whatever elements you want to the different alignment options that you have here. Trying to distribute, you've got options for distributing objects, which works really well if they're all the same object. And then also distributing spacing, we'll make sure there's the same spacing between the bounding box of each object versus the center point. So that's something to definitely remember because I know I showed you that it really kind of throws it off if, if your objects are different sizes. All right, guys, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. I hope this helped you with your alignment troubles. If you have any questions about this, hit me up in the comments down below. Make sure you subscribe to this channel if you wanna see more Illustrator tutorials. I also have the main channel and my other tutorial channels in the description down below. Thanks for watching. I'm Spencer from Pixel and Bracket, and I'll see you next time.